good morning good morning good morning good morning good morning how are you happy friday happy friday happy friday um so i wanted to uh come on and jump right to it uh so listen um Today, I am coming to you from 1 Corinthians um, in the message version, okay? Um, I want to um, talk to you today about love, okay? Um, but first, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for those that are watching. Thank you for those that will be watching this later. I pray that it touches someone's heart, someone's spirit um, with conviction. And not only just with conviction, but with conviction of love to actually learn how to love properly as it is given in your word, God. I pray that they get something out of this and that they are able to move they're able to heal they're able to mend or help someone else heal in jesus name amen all right so first corinthians 13 okay this is the message version so i am going to go through verses 3 through 10 okay so this is going to go really quickly. So if I give everything I own to the poor and even go to the stake of being burned as a martyr, but I don't love, I've got nowhere. So no matter what I say, what I believe, what I do, I'm bankrupt without love. Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self love doesn't want what it doesn't have love doesn't strut love doesn't have a swelled head love doesn't force itself on others it isn't always me first love doesn't fly off the handle doesn't keep score of the sins of others doesn't revel when others grovel D takes pleasure in the flowering of truth puts up with anything trust god always but always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Love never dies. Okay? Um, and I'm going to stop with love never dies. And I'm going to go into the New Living Translation. Okay? And verse 3 says, if I give everything I have to the poor and sacrifice, even sacrifice my body, I could boast about it. But if I didn't love others, I would have gained nothing. So let's start there, right? Um, there are people in this world that benefit from the principle of giving okay so this is twofold really quickly it's twofold there are those that benefit from the principle of giving that do not know what love is do not express love some i would even go as far to say do not have a relationship with god i won't even say they don't believe in god because if you don't believe in god you wouldn't even say his name okay you don't believe that he exists okay all right but unfortunately for people even those that say they don't believe in hell guess what they have a vernacular to mention those things so we know that it's not true they just choose not to believe or um conform to god's word or to conform to the way that things are and there's nothing wrong with conforming to God's word, but still being individual because he still made us individual. Okay. He still made us individual. He still made us one another. That's why we are all special because no one is just alike. Even twins have something a little bit different about themselves. Okay. Identical twins. Okay. Um, if I gave everything okay to the poor so there are people that give okay prime example if you look at jeff bezos and his ex-wife okay his ex-wife gave because she had a heart to give because she had a love of people so therefore she really couldn't even get rid of what she got 
out of the marriage monetarily wise because more was coming back to her you know how more was coming back to her because unfortunately for mr bezos in his mind giving was just a way that he could keep more money we know about that tax break and unfortunately he didn't understand that when you give you also have to have a heart to give so he had to add on more things and create more work and change other things around and step down as ceo and other things and everything else so that he could actually keep more revenue and he said that in the interview okay and this is on regular news stations, not just something in the blogs and all that other stuff. He said it out of his own mouth. There are other organizations that give. They have whole charities, but they got nonprofit sets up because the uh, the key is in business. If you have a nonprofit set up that you give to you essentially can be able to write off a significant amount of your income and not pay taxes. But that is so against the word of God and how we're supposed to operate, okay? So they give to these charities instead of giving to the church, instead of giving in their communities, okay? So instead, you know, the communities only get a certain amount of reach. Now, that's not to say we should count other people's pennies or what they're doing and all of that. I'm just giving that to you as an example, okay, um, of don't try to operate that way, okay? You want to give and have a heart to give to others, okay? Um because if you don't do it in love, you're truly not gaining anything. And you actually are going to have to work harder to keep what it is that you're trying to keep. Okay? Um, recently, the Amazon employees have gotten a pay raise. Some of them have gotten up to equal to a dollar, maybe a little bit more. And these people have been asking for this for years but it's still not a living wage. So the principle is lost in translation, okay? We don't give just to give, we give because it's right and we give because we have love for others, all right? Little round the block, but you get it, okay. Now, um, so love is patient love and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Now, I'm going to stop there. It does not mean that you can't be proud because your husband look good, because your wife look good, because your children are doing well, okay? But it also is not you dangling a piece of meat like you know i make you look good the, mm -mm, not in that that's not love okay um or do you know who i am it don't matter who you are because you ain't nobody without love the richest person in the world literally the wealthiest person in the world still wants the love and approval of his parents he is the what this man is in india is the wealthiest person in the world and his parents still preferred for him to pick another profession rather than being proud of who he was and what he has accomplished We all want that agape love, okay? So don't think that you'll get all the love in the world with the wealth. Wealth is nice. We need money to make things happen, to pay bills, to drive cars, and all that stuff. But, okay, so I got two minutes. 
So let's keep going. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. It keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice, but unjust rejoice about injustice but rejoices whenever the truth wins out okay for those of you that weren't unclear with that um the message version because it turned me around too no love never gives up never loses faith it's always hopeful endures through every circumstance okay it does not mean that you take everything from everybody it just means that you endure it just means that while you may defend yourself you don't get disrespectful i'm gonna keep that short prophecy and speaking in unknown languages and special knowledge will become useless but love will last forever okay so i'm gonna clarify it with this i'm not saying okay that if you receive a word from someone but if you receive a word from someone and it's coming from the wrong place or it's not the person you supposed to hear from and it's coming from another um way or you're trying to pray for prophecy and everything else no listen that's asking for a fortune okay and anyone that isn't a um, prophetic is not asking for you to pay for a proportion but if the word touches you okay if this touched your spirit if this meant did something for you if this helped you please by all means sow a seed um but love will last forever so understand the love in which you give you letting people know what you see what you see in them that you care for about their future that you care about their presence okay that is what lasts okay for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son okay there are so many things so many references to love in the bible you, we're gonna have to look up and i don't have time at this moment to do that but what I am going to say is that, listen, if you take a look deep within and find that you really didn't love someone the way you should it, make amends, okay? If they're your friend, but they're only your friend in secret, you might invite them along. They're, they're your weird friend. They're your strange friend. You know, they're your friend that ain't as successful as everybody else. So, you know, I just bring you along because I, I feel like I'm helping you out. No, baby, you're not helping them out at all. I love you, but I love in secret, but I can't tell nobody about you. Unless your job requires certain things, then no okay it's nothing wrong with keeping things private and everything else but if you can love me in private you can love me in the open too okay that goes for friendships relationships all that work you know work related all that stuff and everything else if someone is making your company run well acknowledge it how it goes and everything else you know love is you know you have to show it in a way in which that person that is supposed to receive it that you're telling that you love them that they understand not your way you have to show them so they understand because that's love too all right so that's it for my car carnivals i hope you enjoyed this motivational moment happy friday have a wonderful rest of your day and i'm going to pray us out father god in the name of jesus i pray that this word touched someone god that it brought them closer to you god it brought them closer to an understanding of love god that they'll go through and seek out your word and read more and learn more about love god that they'll apply the things that they've heard today and learned today and that maybe someone can make amends maybe someone can heal maybe someone can learn how to let go and keep going and not hold angst and anger and hurt and all of those things because none of those things are productive to the will of your kingdom kingdom god so we ask god that you touch everyone that watches this video now and in the future in jesus name amen 
thank you all for being on there again if this word touched you if it meant something to you if it helped you do me a favor like subscribe share and if it touched you by all means please sow a seed